it's, I'm sure, difficult to see the scale of this place. It's actually surprisingly large, despite the fact that it's called Cayuga Playground on the books. The playground is only perhaps an eighth of a tenth of the area. It's a large area and it feels much larger than it is because of the complexity of the environment created here. This park, Cayuga Playground, the landscaping, the sculpture, it's one man's masterpiece. A Filipino man who worked here quite a long time. A couple, maybe three decades, maybe around there. A man named Demetrio Braceros. Everybody called him Demi. Uh, I was uh, hired by the recreation impact department yeah. as a gardener. And I took care of two, two parts, one here and one there. My understanding is it was extremely rough when he arrived here. When I arrived here, there's no beauty, and there are so many problems. Um, there are some drug dealers, there are some... Uh, the kids are uh, undisciplined. And what was here was a marsh. There are a lot of people in the neighborhood who recall it. The first thing he did was move earth, the absolute basics of landscaping. Um, and the second thing he did was plant. He did his work, and after he did his work, he, uh, he devoted himself to the statues. From the smallest to the, to the biggest object, they are around close to 200. Part of what's wonderful about, about the sculpture that you can find in this park is that it segues so seamlessly into the landscaping. As a matter of fact, I would say that some of the sculpture is done with live plants. There's really no division here. Uh, some of what you'll see is wood sculpture done with logs produced mostly by trees that fell down in this park. Um, and there are a lot of sort of totem pole sized pieces around this green. There are climbable large sculptures. If you go up one of those and just sit and look, you'll find that your viewpoint is perfectly placed, that he's actually thought all the way across the park about what you would see. His choice to do mostly humans and animals, it's what he wanted to do. And, and that's what you'll see in here, humans, animals, creatures that partake of the characteristics of both, which I think are a wonderful thing to see in the park. My main motive is to curb uh, different kinds of uh, objects so that uh, there will be harmony. <laughs> I just to curb this word because uh, the word itself teaches me what kind of object it's supposed to be. So when you see an object, it's the one who decides who will uh, embody that object. You just follow what the word dictates. It's liberty. It's uh, freedom. Symbol of freedom. Liberty. And what is that? This is the king of kings. I didn't know. <laughs> What's this? Oh, if, you, if you didn't see oh. me, you just come and uh, look oh, at me. Cute. This me. Oh, that's you. <laughs> is that you? Yeah. I, 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 I draw it when uh, I was sitting on my on my tol, tol, uh, tol room. <laughs> the sun says, I am the vine and you are the branches. Any branches that uh, does not bear fruit uh, will be cut off by his father who is a master gardener and throw it to the fire. Uh, and this is Moses. How, how good you did this. Yeah, rep that. Represent, the, yeah. represent the 12 how passages. One, two, three. The kissing. Yeah. <laughs> this is the tree of life, which is the apple. This is the serpent, <laughs> and this is the Adam and Eva, uh, this garden. My intention is, uh, I name it the Garden of Eden. But when I was, uh, I was uh, doing some planting, this, this uh, tree of life started to grow. So, meaning, 
I just put the Adam in it and the that set it. <laughs> the complete. I also uh, create a garden dedicated to nine to the nine one one nine eleven in order of this who died. A thousands of people died there, so, so so I make a garden for them. New trail of hope. Respect and obey. No one is above the law. It's a king. Yes. Blow the trumpet for joy, for the kingdom joy. of heaven is at hand. Yes. Oh, yes. Happy. <laughs> the park. It's on pillars, which gives the whole situation a sort of city of the future feel that it wouldn't otherwise have. It's actually kind of a charming contrast. When those pillars were built, they were off the code. They were considered strong enough, but there has been research about quakes since then, and the wisdom has changed. They're going to need to retrofit the pillars that hold up the BART track. The good news is that BART has thus far been very responsive to the community. When we came here and we started to look at the magnitude of what we had to do, the very first thing that, that struck us was we have to take care of these statues. So our real obligation to the larger community is to make sure that when we come in and do this work, we do it in such a way that we restore when we are done. And their plans, which I have seen, are probably the least disruptive plans they could choose. Whatever carvings that uh, they will be, uh, that be disturbed, they will take out from there and uh, replant them again. So those that can be removed are being removed to a warehouse location where they will be properly stored and then reinstalled at the completion of the work. There are some that are quite unique because they are a full stump with roots remaining in the ground and those can't be moved. So in those cases we're going to have to protect it in place and build a protective structure around it. On either side of this pillar, if you go out about 20 feet, that's the size of the excavation. So unfortunately, there are some shrubs and some trees that are near each of these pillars that are going to have to come out. So this lovely agave plant here and that pine tree have to come out because that's the area where the work is going to take place. But again, the good news is we have a very robust replanting plan. So wherever we take something out, we replant two for one. So if we take out one tree, two trees go back. And we don't put in small saplings, we put in a good sized tree. So they get a good head start at getting back to where they are today. Um, so I'm optimistic about that. I even, I even planted this one. The redwood. Oh. Now we didn't expect to be able to replace Demi because Demi not only did gorgeous gardening and gorgeous landscaping here, he also made gorgeous sculptures and somehow found time for all of it. And now Josie is the savior. She's the boss, she's the head, she's the one that uh, keeps her going in the right direction. And I'm here, I, I come here to help her. Um, in the wake of Demi's departure, volunteers from the community have been caring for his park. And it's not just me, far from it. I've got four people now who come regularly every week to work here with me. This community values this park so much. They take it personally, they come out here and look over it and are responsible for it. The emotional support, the appreciation that I get from, from people in the neighborhood is extremely important in keeping me, me motivated as a volunteer. And I think that's part of why the, the experience of having Demi here and this community together have made this park what it is. Many people have been coming by. It almost seems like people have discovered this park once again. We came to uh, have a picnic today and uh, we chose to use this playground, which is a beautiful place. I had no idea that the park was even here and then I came and walked over one day and I've been coming out here pretty much every day that I can. It's wonderful to come out here and just walk around and look at everything. It's really peaceful and people come out here all the time and everyone's usually having a pretty good time out here. I've come here to play basketball, to get some exercise, and I've done so since I was uh, almost uh, like a teenager maybe, you know, in my early 20s. This place is uh, very familiar to me. Yeah. This is a remarkable little piece of ground that is one person's vision and a community's heartbeat. 
this place is a treasure. There's nothing else in San Francisco. I've never seen anything else like this. Period. My inspiration, my my motive, my intention is to make this uh, place a peaceful place for everyone to enjoy.